Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and in today's video, we are doing a Shein haul. Hello. I don't like these pants. So soft. Um, I highly recommend this Skims dupe, like digging straight into your vagine. I also have a love-hate relationship with Shein because half the items I get from them, I love. Half the items I get from them, I hate. We will be going over everything today together and we will see how it goes. It was kind of weird. I placed my order and then it showed up on my doorstep two days later. I've never had that happen to me before, but this is uh, the massive box of stuff that I ordered from them. So let us dive into this bad boy. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I know that this is a little bit different from my normal regular activewear hauls, but I mean, it's still a haul. It's a try on haul. You know, even us gym girls want to look cute every once in a while, you understand? I don't even know where to start. There's so much stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to start by hanging everything up on the clothing rack. Okay guys, everything is hung up. We have plenty to go over. I'm just gonna go randomly piece by piece. And yeah, so. We are gonna start out with this white bodysuit and it was $9. I ordered it in a size medium. Just for reference, I am 5'9". I weigh like 168 to 170. I fluctuate and I normally typically order things in a medium unless I want it to be baggy then I'll order a large so on and so forth but I know that Shein is a little tricky with uh, sizing so that's kind of part of the point of this trial. I have the body suit on and the top half of it is like double lined so that way it's not see-through but the bottom half of it is not double lined. You're definitely gonna have to wear like a pant that's high enough I think because it might look a little weird if you don't so I'm going to put on one of the pants and see if it works out but I do really like the deep V if I was wearing a bra obviously the girls would look better but I'm not and the sleeve length is really nice I think that it's like high-end looking cut you know instead of like a short little one I love it I think that it's really nice the quality feels good actually I'm surprised it is very stretchy it is comfortable to wear it's actually more of like an athletic wear material it's not cottony. I know you're all wondering what the back looks like because that's like the most important part of a one piece is to have a comfortable bottom that doesn't give you ugly underwear lines. It is a thong bottom. I don't know if I want to show you guys my actual butt cheeks. See, it's good, you see? So the pant that I'm going to put on with this one piece, I got in a size large and it was $23. I feel like by the feel of this, I don't know if I'm gonna love it. Um, I'll put an up close of the material just so that you can kind of get a better idea. And then I actually hate <laughs> that these zips on the side are orange. If I knew that, I would not have ordered it. You guys know me, I am a super neutral girl. So let's put them on. They're cute. <laughs> Maybe I could just Sharpie the orange zipper. Okay, so this is the pant. I know it's black, so it's kind of hard to see, but basically it's like a cargo pant. It has a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and it's actually not as uncomfortable as I thought it would be. Here's the hideous orange zipper, and then it is scrunched at the bottom. I actually feel like once I put the belt on, I like a little bit of extra material here. I think it just kind of goes with the cargo look, and if I was wearing a medium, it would probably be much more fitted on my legs. I like it, I like it a lot. The back of it is just plain. There's actually no pockets, which I kind of like because it's a little bit more flattering on the butt, but my butt is not getting squished by the material at all, which is a huge thing for me because I know a lot of times with cheaper pants, they're just like made wrong and it can be super like constricting in weird spots like your butt. Uh, I would say that these pants are good to go. And the length is really good. I do want to mention that. The length of these pants are nice. The next item we're going over is this brown one piece suit that i'm wearing and it is 12 dollars. i ordered it in a size medium so this is just like a one piece that you would wear under some pants it's not a bathing suit 
anyhow i really 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 love the cut of this the straps are like super wide like they're all the way out here and then it is a square neck and i do love square neck tops i think that it is extremely flattering on literally everyone um, and then i do like that the straps are thick enough that you can still wear a bra to give your girls a lift the material of this is like silky stretchy almost bathing suit type material it comes nice and high-waisted and it is a thong booty as well see so you will not have any issues with creasing in any pants um i highly recommend this so cute so cute 12 dollars. what a steal oh rude $12, what a steal. I am going to pop it on with these pants. These pants caught my attention because I like unique pieces of clothing. I mean, I love to follow trend, but I also like random pieces that are a little bit different. So this pant, I ordered in a size medium and it is $19. The material of it is like this. I don't know how to describe this material, but you just saw what it looks like, so it's fine. Anyway, and then the bottom, this is what I'm excited for. The bottom has these ties because you actually tie it around the ankle to give it a little bit of pizzazz or something, you know? Ooh, 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 girl, she tight. Okay, the medium's good. The medium's good. Let me tie the things and then I'll show you them. How stinking cute is this? Do you see the bottom of the pants? They're so cute with like that little puffy pom pom looking detail it's holding me in really good at the waist i try to follow the sizing chart so i think if you follow the sizing chart you're good there are no pockets it does have these little pleats right here and then it's a zipper with this type of latch it is not a button and then in the back looks like this <laughs> i love them i love these pants and i also love this one piece what a freaking good find so cute so stinking cute I also picked up these little earrings. Let me see. They were $2 and it's just like these little chain looking earrings. I'm sure <clears throat> the quality of these are trash. Oh, they're metal. It's like actual, it's like actual metal. Oh, cute. Look, aww. The next thing I'm going to try on, I don't have high hopes for this because I feel like every time I try something like this on, it never works out. It is a faux leather uh, corset type shirt. It was $7. I got this top in a size large and I definitely think that I was correct to do that. I think a medium would have been too small. Like as you can see, the cup is like already a little weird. But I mean, for like six bucks, it's cute like this could make a really cute outfit um the quality of it isn't like the best thing i've ever experienced but to be honest it's six bucks and it's from shein so were we really expecting the quality to be a1 no we weren't you were just staring in my closet for a long time that's awkward i got these pants in a size medium and they were 18 dollars. okay um hi Hello, how you darn? What a cute pant. This is how you add pizzazz and style to business casual, okay? The front of them is pleated. There's four pleats, so it gives it a nice luxurious look. It is black and cream. There are two pockets. And then the back of them, like this, there's an elastic. So it's very giving, but it's holding me in really well. And on the booty, it is not scrunching down at all. I have enough room for my butt, which is great. It's like pleated again in the front and then scrunchy in the back. The length of them is good. It could be a little bit longer, but it's honestly fine. Let's see what it looks like with a blazer. I think I have a blazer somewhere. Like what? How cute is this? Yeah, these pants are for sure a go. And honestly, this top is kind of growing on me because it's abnormally comfortable. I honestly have never seen a onesie like this before. It is like a cottony ribbed material. Very, very stretchy, super giving. Something that's interesting is there's no clasp on the bottom. But I think that's because it's so stretchy that it could really stretch to any length. Like if you're super tall or something. And I love that there's no clasp because... That's like my one complaint with one pieces is oftentimes 
they get really uncomfortable because the clasp is just like digging straight into your vagine. But we don't have that problem with this one. It does go nice and high on the hips and it is a thong booty. This top was a size medium and it was $17. I would say it's worth $17. But let me put on a pair of pants. The pants that I'm gonna put on, I honestly don't have high hopes for because I don't know. Leather pants aren't very stretchy. So I got this in a large and it was $23. I think getting a large was the right move. It's not like the tightest on my waist, but it's fitted everywhere else. And I think if I would have gotten a medium, I might like split them down the middle. But they're so cute actually. The only problem I have with them is they are a little bit short uh but again i am tall so on the average human height it probably would be just fine the button is like a super simple button and then there is a zipper obviously um i can already see like here material kind of cracking i don't know if you can see that like in this area i don't know if i would recommend these pants to you guys probably not yeah no I would not recommend them. They're not even flattering. I feel the waist could be a little bit more cinched in, like maybe like this. And it doesn't really do anything for the booty. The length could be better. For an average height person, the length would probably be fine. Um, so I'm going to change outfits now because I don't like these pants. Who orders from Shein and doesn't order the Kim K Skims dupe? I don't know, but I ordered it. <laughs> $22 for the whole outfit. So that's actually not bad. It's the pants and the top. Here's the material. It is so soft and plush and stretchy. I'm actually really impressed by the material, like so comfy. Um, there is a top waistband and then for the top, there's like no built-in support. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be high waters because it's like high waters on me. I'm like over here trying to stretch out the pant. I just want them to be longer. So they're not like super short, but they're also not very long. I definitely could see myself wearing this around, even like out in public. You know, I just throw on a little jacket and some sneakers and you're good to go. I did order these. These are just some slippers. They were $12 and I ordered them in a size large. They're just like this, super fuzzy and comfy looking. Two straps. Let's see, they're separated, two straps. And the bottoms of them look like this. So you are able to walk outside with them if you wanted. It's a comfy shoe. It's cute. They're very soft, very fluffy. I feel very luxurious. Okay, so for this one, this is the top that I got. It was $7 and I got it in a size medium. So it's just like a super basic, like cheap, stretchy, cottony material. Um, and then it has like these little cinches on the side. Is the length of this string not, abs like, absurd? I guess if you make the bow long enough, then it's okay. Okay, but it is really cute. So this is what it looks like with jeans. The back is just plain like that. So stick true to size for this top. I did buy this belt. The belt, I believe, was also super cheap. Yeah, it was $2. It's just this cream colored faux leather belt. This is what the front of it looks like. So I actually ordered this for like a business casual look just to throw on my dress pants. Not really to hold them up, but just to add to the style. So I do recommend the belt as well. The next top that we're gonna go over, I think is so cute. Anyway, it's a medium and it just says girl power. The only thing I'm not sure about is it has like these two seams down the front, like right here and right here, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm just gonna pop it on and then we will look at it. Okay, it's actually really cute and I do like this stitching. I see that it looks kind of see-through in the camera, but I think that's just because of the ring light. It's actually not see-through, like I'm looking at it in the mirror, but it is form-fitting. I like the cut of it. It's like higher on the neck and the back is just super plain, but it is cute for like a casual look. Just throw it on with some jeans or with some sweatpants. It would probably be so cute with sweatpants. Um, and then we actually only have one more piece to go over and it is this. It's just like a little vest. So here's the vest. First off, I ordered it in a size large and it was $16. I do want to say this. I'm shocked by the quality of it. It is so soft. Can you see it? It 
feels like pretty good quality and it's stretchy these types of little vests are kind of coming in again into style i would say like paired with a black jean or like a tighter jean would be so cute i really like it um also look at my cute little necklace and this is not a bracelet it's actually also a necklace i just like clipped it shorter to where it felt like a bracelet but it's actually from a girl from my hometown i'll leave her small business link in the description below for you guys like i might hang out on this for the rest of the day it's so comfy okay guys that is actually it for today but i hope that this try on haul was helpful for you guys i hope you can find some cute cute pieces to get your hands on and then i think that if you download the app there's like a coupon and there's always coupons so everything is like cheap and then you can always find a discounted price anyway i am going to head out of here i will see you guys next monday at 2 p.m eastern standard time also if you haven't followed me over on instagram go ahead and do so it is tan ham I post a lot of my workouts and random little things that I find on the internet that I want to share with you guys. I post it on my story. So I'm super active on my Instagram story. If you want to keep in touch, just reach out to me over on Instagram. Thank you guys and have an amazing week. Bye.